What do we have here? It looks like he's going to put his glue down with this. And this is going to be interesting because I've not, I've only seen guys in residential a few times because I, I did most of my commercial, most of my contracting work in the commercial field and, and most of that was glue down carpet the entire thing, not carpet with pad. And the few times that I've seen people do residential homes, especially on concrete uh, slab floors, is they would just take a can around um, with liquid glue in there and they would just take it and pour it back and forth and walk along and pour it as you saw how, how the lines were underneath this. Well, I thought that's what he was going to do here, but you know, he's going to do it a different way. So we'll have to make sure to check that out. Now he's using, he's using glue like that. You never use the other glue out of the can and just walk it around, do you? No, no, in the middle, only in the middle. You only do the middle? Yes, sir. Okay. Because I've always seen it done a few times. When I pulled this carpet out, it was all the way around the seams yeah. where somebody, He's, they, you know, they took it out of a little quart can and then just, they just walk it along. Yes, yeah, sir. But you don't do that. No, not me. No. You, you like to do it this way and you just do it in the middle seam. Yes. And that just keeps it together so that it doesn't move around uh, for you when you're installing the carpet, right? Yeah. Or even when somebody's walking on the carpet, you don't want this thing moving around. Uh -huh. yes. Okay, so something new I've learned today because I've never seen someone uh, put this type of glue down. And this is just a, uh, this is like for installing uh, uh, glue down carpet. You would use a glue like this. So. Mohawk V1. Okay, yeah, okay. So see, it's good that it's good that we swept up and we even vacuumed the floor for you so that there was no dust on the floor, so that your glue would stick nice and easily. Well, that's all he does, just where the seams are. Look at that. Okay. So, you know, so far, is there anything that I've shown you on what he's done so far that you couldn't do yourself? So far, so good. You can do this if you need, if you really need to do it and save money. Or if you're so inclined, you think, I can do that. All I have to do is watch a few videos and hopefully Video Joe's got something on his channel that will help me out. And yes, I <laughs> there it goes. Your seams nice and tight. And then you, I guess, yeah, he's got to do that on all of his seams, he was saying. So anytime, see, he's got, got that fill right there at the door. He'll just put a little bit right there. You see, his trowel's got little. Uh, it used to have notches on it. It still does. Yeah. Oh, you got 
You got one in there that you missed. Oh yeah, I need that. He'll get it. Yeah. I know. I know. Eventually, he'll get it because he can't put the carpet down without it. <laughs> Nice smooth concrete you got there, huh? Look how rough it is. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't do a very good job when they installed this uh, slab. They, they must have done it in the rain or something. Because there's a couple rooms here that were really super rough. But, hey. It still works. Before. They had blocks down here and they were loose. That's why I had to glue them down. I had to do that last night. The last thing I swept underneath there and put those all back down there, used liquid nails on there. That's for your bypass closet doors. If, if you've got them hung on a piece of trim up here like this, you know, the wheels fit up in here and then they roll from there down. Then you've got the little door glide at the bottom that it's nice to screw it into something you know that you've got some backing down there like wood then I can just take the little screws poke them down through the carpet and run them into that block so don't forget your blocks and if you got 7 16 carpet and you've got a half inch uh, plywood or OSB paneling plywood or something like that usually half inches 7 16 anyways and so anything half inch size will work. Okay. Don't forget those. It'll make your life so much easier if you've got those blocks down there. Now the last person who installed the carpet, initially they didn't use any glue on theirs. They used concrete nails and they tagged them down with that. Well, on three of these blocks, they just came right up and so I took the concrete nails out. Oh, they actually had some glue too, but they didn't use liquid nails. They had something else. So the glue had failed, the concrete nails actually failed, and those things were just flopping in the air when I took the carpet up. Okay, so make sure those are glued down nice and tight. Now, now, now he's making measurements for all of his carpet and he, and he knows what he's doing, how big of uh, carpet he's going to need to cut. And this is where the estimator comes into play. We had, we had somebody come out here and do the measuring and stuff and I didn't want to be the one to say, oh yeah, I can do it. I'll give somebody the measurements and then they, then they bring out uh, how much yardage that you told them to and then come to find out son of a gun they're short or something you know nothing doing if you're gonna have somebody order carpet let them do the measuring all right and talk about estimating um, the estimator shorted him just barely so a room this room right here, believe it or not, he's got to put a little seam in it. So he, get, he, he had the question, now I'm going to pose it to you now. He said, we're, we're going to have to have a seam right here in the closet or over here behind the door as you enter. Which place would you rather have the seam? I hope you said the, car, the, the closet because that's where I would have the seam every day. You don't want a seam over here anywhere near an entrance and that goes too for uh, if your carpet if your room is a lot bigger than 12 feet or something say you have to have a seam in your bedroom somewhere you never want to have a seam towards the, the front of your room or along the front here or along the front here if, if anywhere if they had to have a seam somewhere I would have I would have a seam towards the back wall 
towards that back wall or that back wall if they had to or figure out if you can put the the seam in a closet but if you've got to have one out here you know the bed's going to be in here somewhere chances are the bed's going to going to go this way i would put a i, I would have the seam there or along that wall never never i mean never have one down the middle or towards the front or something like that I. My word, how's he gonna pull that out on his own? Because if I wasn't here, I don't know. I don't know if there's any trick with that. He's got two different jobs to do today. This is our project, this is somebody else's. And he's here all by himself. You know, I'm wondering if he's gonna use some, this thing here. And strap that around there somehow and then jerk it out. We'll see. We'll see.